what is going on guys this is failing youtuber marvin and i have for you guys today another youtube gameplay gameplay you guys are going to be watching in the background is a 67 to 3 kill confirmed gameplay on the map nuketown and this was a somewhat old gameplay it's actually a triple vtol warship put me in carnage clan right <laughs> just kidding but all you guys are actually going to be seeing of the gameplay is a 58 to 2 because it was in theater mode and it ended up screwing up because of a host migration and some pussy left the game and that's what you guys are going to see i actually never got a chance to use my third vtol warship simply because the game ended prematurely so i actually wasn't planning on making a montage yesterday i just noticed i had actually quite a few trick shots in my file folder and i figured you know i'm just gonna export all these from my elgato software put them into after effects do an edit on it add the amazing song and five more likes guys and i'll be doing red guns montage and i think that's gonna be a lot of fun to do but i'm not gonna go for any shots until i actually get the 50 likes just can't be certain you know might stop at 49 and never get there or something so i'm gonna wait on that and guys i posted a video two days ago i think some of you guys may have missed it because the views are somewhat low on it but i actually did this challenge video and it's because because I had tried to do this commentary three times in a row and it failed every time and I'm gonna be very pissed off if it fails this time but anyway guys you missed that video two days ago it was a challenge it went extremely well and I'd recommend watching it so today's video is going to be a top five style video but not an actual top five it's going to be about the best gun in my opinion on every single Call of Duty the one I find most fun to use or something and then it's gonna be COD 4 and up pretty much Call of Duty 4 I think one of the most fun guns to use is the M16 the M16 is a beast of a gun you really don't even need stopping power on it you just put on a red dot sight and you can just one burst people from who even knows what range ridiculous ranges you're gonna be on pipeline across the map you can just pick people with the one burst headshot people can't really move around very fast in that game because there's no stock to strafe around just a beast of a gun you can put on juggernaut and you're like a sniper's worst nightmare in that game they have to be really skilled and get a headshot to actually kill you a lot of fun to use although i also really like using the mp5 and m4 in that game con 4 is just a lot of fun i need to go back and play that game pretty soon here so world at war i've heard a lot of horror stories about the mp40 with like steady aim and the drum mag and then i think people would also use stock power or something they just run around hip firing people pretty much no thumbs required no gun skill just run around hold down the trigger until you get the kill and i can definitely see why that would be overpowered in world of war because even with an smg in that game you can't strafe around so hip fire definitely just seems like the best way to go and obviously the mp40 is just the strongest smg in that game i've tried it once or twice it's definitely really easy to get kills although sometimes i'll aim in if i'm at really long ranges but i'm just gonna say right now guys i don't really have a ton of experience with world of war because whenever i get on it i feel like i run into hackers or just can't get a lobby or it'll do the thing where you know i'm searching for a game and you know normally it just doesn't search for games when you're playing black Ops 2 and you don't have the dlc but i don't have the dlc for what it were obviously who does right and it gives me a lobby of people with dlc and then it kicks me out of the lobby and says i need the dlc like they need they should have fixed the matchmaking so long ago mw2 is going to be the next one and that's going to be the ump 45 and i'm not just saying this kind of like the cod farm 16 i use it sometimes and all the time when i play mw2 and if i'm on a medium to small map and not like a huge map like afghan i will be using ump 45 the ump P is such a beast of a gun. It's like a two-shot kill at mid-range even, close range for sure. I think it just might be a better two-shot kill range than the FAL. It won't be with suppressor, but it's still pretty strong in suppressor. It's got decent iron sights. The reload's a little slow, and the kick is a little high, but it's really not that bad. For an SMG, I think it's one of the strongest SMGs in Call of Duty ever, and a lot of fun to use. I very much enjoy the UMP. So, you guys know me. You guys know I like to rush around. You guys know when I have an assault rifle, I like to have stock so I can run around, I can jump shot with it. Just overall, better movement speed. And generally speaking, when I'm playing older Call of Duty, like even COD 4, I mean, I do like using the MP5. You know, MW2, I do like using the UMP. I like using MP40 in World of War. I like using SMGs because you can move around fast, you can hip fire people. But in Black Ops 1, the FAMAS is just a two beast to pass up. You have to be using that FAMAS. I mean, you don't have to, but you know, it's a lot of fun to use. It's a beast of a gun. The gun shoots extremely fast. It's very high fire rate. You can reload it even though, you know, normally you have a gun like the Scorpion in Black Ops 2. It shoots just too damn fast and it's like a problem. But the FAMAS you can just put on Fast Mag and Slide of Hand Pro. It's like you literally instantly reload. It's ridiculous. And then you put on Slide of Hand Pro and you have Quick Draw and you can actually rush around with that gun really well. The iron sights are, in my opinion, perfect. I mean, you guys might not think so, but I would never see a reason on Earth anyone would need a red dot on it. And then if you put on a suppressor, it takes away the muzzle flash and makes the iron sights even better than the RDR. A lot of fun to use and I enjoy. So I don't play MW3 very often, but I played a little bit on my friend's account where he's just like, you know, max rank with all the pro perks and stuff. And I tried using the MP7 because he recommended it to me. And let me tell you, that MP7 is fun. That thing is like a laser beam. The damage is on point with any other SMG. It's on par. And it's just a really fun gun to use. It's got 40 rounds in the magazine. I think it goes up to like 55, 6. I don't even know. It goes up a lot higher. If you put on extended mags, you can have suppressor on that thing. It's just a laser beam. It's like really hard to beat. I know a lot of people say the ACR 
CR in that game, but you have even better movement with the MP7. Bigger magazine, gun's just a beast. So this right here, this gun is my favorite in all Call of Duty from Black Ops 2. You guys already know. The M81, just kidding. The FAL. The FAL is my favorite gun in Call of Duty. It's so fun to use. I very much enjoy it. It's the second most accurate assault rifle in the game, I believe. Might be second to the M8, but it's barely less accurate than the M27. It's like almost twice as strong as the M27. If you have a good trigger finger, you can shoot really fast. The iron sights, however, are terrible, so you need a red dot on it, but that doesn't stop it from being really good. It has a pretty good reload time. Everything about the gun just makes you be able to slay people really well, and if you guys actually don't know why the FAL is so good, it's because of the two-shot kill range. It goes out to a pretty good range when other assault rifles won't even kill in two-shot kills ever. You can actually two-shot headshot people from across the map with that gun, so if your shot's really good, you can just melt people literally across the map on turbine. Two shots to the head and you're dead. Gun's a monster. I love the FAL. So Ghosts, I haven't played this game in two years, but it's just the obvious one, the vector, you know. I've seen like a clip where I think Nate Shot was playing. He got like shot with two bullets around a wall by that thing. It's like probably better than the UMP just because the guns and ghosts melt. But anyway, I'm going to get depressed if I talk about the game any longer. Next up, we have Advanced Warfare. And another just obvious one, the ASM-1. It's kind of like the MSMC in Black Ops 2, but better. It's just more rounds in the magazine, better iron sights, more accurate, just a really good gun. And obviously, you want to have an SMG in a game where you have advanced movements like the exosuits. So that's just kind of a no-brainer. And again, I didn't play much Advanced Warfare. Black Ops 3, I actually haven't played a ton because, you know, on old gen, it's really hard to play. I find I was lagging a lot of the time when I play new gen, although I'm going to give it a little bit of a chance tonight, I think. I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how that goes. When I ended up prestiging in that game, I ended up permanently unlocking the M8A7, and that gun is just a monster. If you guys don't know, if you put on long barrel on the gun, it doubles the range, so you can just one burst people from literally across the map. If you can hit all your four shots of your burst, it's just a complete beast of a gun. So much fun to use. I still will put stock on it, even though it's not insanely good. Like the ELO site, you can put high caliber to get even longer range kills and even quicker kills to the head. Crazy gun. I don't know if I'd say it's better than the M8 in Black Ops 2. I think, I actually think the M8 in Black Ops 2 is a little bit better just because you can put stock on and stock is a lot more effective. But then long barrel, it definitely makes it something to compete with because the range is just ridiculous. Long barrel is so good on ARs in Black Ops 3 in general. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for the list. This was a little bit different of a type of video because normally I'll do a top 5 directly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that gameplay in the background. I'm going to be trying to pick up some Black Ops 3 gameplays. I could have used the Black Ops 3 gameplay. I got like a, I don't even know, 30 to 7 free for all. It took me like 5 or 6 minutes to win just running all around looking for people, getting connection interrupted every 20 seconds, but I figured this would be a lot more entertaining to watch. Anyway guys, this has been Failing YouTube or Marvin. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video and or want to see more top 5s without waiting 2 weeks in between them. Subscribe for more. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be down in the description below. Have a sexy day. Get